I've decided to record one more quick screencast on tangent planes and I give the question in a slightly different way this time. I say find an equation in three variables x, y, z for the tangent plane to the surface parameterized in the following way and you're supposed to do this at the point x equal to y equal 3, z equal 0. And in this case, to make things brief, I've already done most of the calculations and I'll just talk you through them. Just as an aside, uh, since you know you're going to have to do this, I often start with going ahead and just computing these derivatives. You can do this and go ahead and take the cross product. So I knew I was going to have to do that, so I just did that first. So one of the things you're going to have to do is you're given this point in 3 space and you have to work out what u and v are that correspond to that point and uh, you can get that uh, hopefully maybe you could just see it but in any case since z is 0 that tells you u is have to, has to be equal to v and then from the fact that x is equal to 2 you can work out that u and v have to be 1 and that's consistent with the y component. All right, So you see that this point corresponds to u equal v equal 1 so what we need is a normal vector to the surface, so that's just the cross product, which we already computed, evaluated at u equal v equal 1, and you do that and you get, um, you get this vector. Let me underline that, that's a vector. Notice um, this is not of unit length, but in fact, for finding an equation in three variables, x, y, z, this vector doesn't have to be of unit length, it simply has to be normal to the surface. That's one of the points I wanted to emphasize here. I don't need to normalize this vector. All I need to do is take the product between that and essentially the difference between points x, y, z and the point in question, 2, 3, 0. All right, so I've written this out here. So here's the normal vector written in component notation, dotted in 2. Now x minus x naught is x minus 2. y minus y naught is y minus 3. z minus z naught, z naught is 0. So that's just z. I take the dot product, I get this is equal to 0. At this point, you could just say that's your answer. That's fine. In general, if you were going to do something else with this, you might like to simplify. In particular, I would like to divide this by minus 2, just write it in a slightly nicer way. So that's an equation in three variables, x, y, z, and it describes the tangent plane to the surface at this point. If you wanted to, I mean, if you needed to for some reason, if you wanted the unit normal, of course, you would have to normalize this. So you would have to divide this by its, by its length. And I will then have a unit vector is equal to, that looks like it's minus 3 i hat plus j hat minus 3 k hat the square root of 19. And then I won't actually do the calculation, but also if you wanted to parameterize tangent plane, you could do that as well. Actually, let me just go ahead and do it. So if you wanted to parameterize plane, that would be p of h k will be equal to, I'll just write it this way, 2, 3, 0, uh, times h times the derivative, which is now off the screen, so I'll just tell you the answer is 1, 6, 1, plus k times the other derivative evaluated that, and it gives you a 1, 0, minus 1, and, um, well, you can simplify this in some ways if you need to, but, uh, but there you go. All right, so that's a supplementary example again to emphasize the various calculations involved in tangent planes and normal vectors.